Hello, 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 my love bugs. Once again, this is your girl Lumi Love here with another message from the divine. As I always say today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you heart not your heart, for I am just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, shares, views, and memberships. Everything's greatly appreciated, my loves. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to roll with it. Oh, chocolate. Okay, you need some chocolate right now. An aphrodisiac. Girl, you might be real turned up right now. You might be real, um, you might be real horny right now. Most definitely. Most definitely. You might be extra, extra horny right now for some reason. Maybe you're ovulating. Maybe, you know, you just, I'm hearing, when I get that feeling, I want a sexual healing. Okay, so you like to feel good. And you want to feel good. And somebody make you feel good. And you want to have some time to sleep with this person. Maybe you, you know, think about this person when you going to sleep. And then they get you all worked up. Maybe you can't even go to sleep because you all worked up. Maybe you feel like you need somebody to put you to bed. Something going on. But somebody is really hype right now. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're more relaxed. Yeah, like you're having you're having a new awakening, a transformation. You're more relaxed. Maybe in the past you had to be more feisty. You didn't want certain energies around you. You were very protective of yourself. But you got somebody who got you wide open, honey. Yes, your witches are coming. <laughs> your witches, your wishes are coming true. Witches. It could have been a couple of witches trying to stop you from this, banish you from this success. Didn't want you having this good ass relationship. They already felt like you was Miss Goody Two Shoes. You was good at this and good at that, and now you get the man too. Oh hell no! So these people could have been trying to banish you from this person's energy, which is crazy. Doing banishment spells, trying to find your name and your date of birth on your social media to do some banishment spells so you couldn't go towards this masculine. But they mag they magic trash. Okay, back to the good story. Yeah, sugar and spice and everything they nice and they found that shit out the hard way honey you might be sweet out here you might keep to yourself but your spirits and your spiritual self don't play that shit okay expansion now this masculine wants to come towards you or you want to go towards this masculine okay you want to uh, uh uh extend your 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 love to this masculine you want to fortify this relationship you want to really get it you shit you want to get in a relationship you you maybe you sneaky linking maybe you said you tired of sneaky linking and you really want to show this masculine something oh you said you're trying to get nasty, child. Prediction in the future. You said, listen, I I I get real intimate with those I'm with, okay? And I I done been with you for a while now. Listen, I I'm kind of trying to show you something. You gonna let me show you something, okay? You might have to breathe. He might need to breathe. Reconciliation, baby, you need to breathe because let me tell you something. You think you coming with the heat, but this masculine feeling just like you feeling. Whatever spells these people are doing to y'all in the background to stop y'all from getting together, it is really it's going down. That's why y'all feel like y'all feel about each other. That's why when this man's going to think about you, your cootie mama's staying at attention. And when you think about this man's his man's is right up. Y'all are connected. Oof. Have the faith in this reconciliation, girl. You're going to need to breathe. Your intuition could possibly be leading you towards doing more self-care. All right? Just being ready. Maybe this masculine is real random. And whatever this shit going to happen, it's just going to happen. And you got to be ready. You can't be like, damn, give me 24 hours in advance so I can shave. Because I ain't shaved since last November. Or so I can do this so I can do that. No. No. Okay? Damn, this is going to be for a lifetime. Immortality for a lifetime. Sweet like honey. Ambrosia. Damn, this man said he want to taste you. What is this? You're the chocolate aphrodisiac. Maybe you want to taste him and he the chocolate child. Sheesh. But you guys have a, a, a bond that no one else has. I'm here for you. You don't even shit. Sometimes you just want to take a nap. You just want to lay with somebody and have that bond. Be spooned, okay? You haven't had that love in a while. Maybe this man's going to know that. He want to give you that love. Maybe this man's going to never give anybody any love like that. And that's how he want to give it to you, child. Ooh, and they got somebody bitter. Bitter. I'm here. Uh, what's that Gucci man? A lemon. Living in the shade with my feet up. Living in the shade with my feet up. Okay, so you chilling. <laughs> These people don't like it. It makes them jealous, okay? They want to reignite some old flame. They want something to blow up. Lord, somebody wants something to blow up in your face. Could be literally, like somebody could literally be trying to make something blow up in your face or make you blow up. Somebody could be being sour right now. Somebody could have did a sour jar and without them knowing, I'm going to get drop a, drop, drop a little knowledge on y'all. Somebody did a sour jar, but what you got to realize is even if a lemon sits for a little bit, it becomes sweet. It can start out sour, but if a lemon sit long enough, baby, that lemon going to be sweet. So whatever this is that somebody wanted to go bad for you ended up turning sweet. They wanted this masculine to turn away from you, okay? After them spells didn't work, they did a sour jar to keep you away from this masculine, to keep this masculine not wanting to speak to you and he'd have made lemons out of that i mean he'd have made lemonade out of them lemons honey 
he like relaxing with you he like chilling with you all right these people are exploding they can't stand it they're upset and y'all just chilling they want y'all upset okay just as upset as they are money could be coming in as well all right some sort of spiritual gifts or some sort of spiritual connection in the spiritual realm y'all could already be together and at peace y'all could be at peace within each other i'm getting like this really got to do with this union coming together y'all soothe each other out y'all calm each other down so it's like if they try to do spell work to get him worked up so he don't want to be bothered with you because I, I get both of y'all have this personality of like if things are not going well y'all shut down and y'all only want to be around y'all self okay so people were trying to take y'all out of y'all regular hey you know happy selves yeah like in the past and kind of lock you up then want you talking then want you communicate with each other shutting yourself off in the world being upset but both of you guys have clarity on um, more than one thing now you're not attached to the same karmic things in the past you know your purpose okay patchouli purpose i love patchouli all right you also might be a little sensitive right now yeah, sensitive about your protection. Like I said, you don't play that. You only let him in your protection. And that's the only person you're trying to let in your protection. He has this sensitivity now. He knows to protect himself from certain people in certain situations. He could also feel that someone was trying to bind themselves to him. Yeah, to intrude in this situation. To make it seem like he was unfaithful. So even if he was, okay, so somebody on the outside thinking y'all already hitched together in this relationship and they kind of want to intrude and get in the middle of it. So they want to make it seem like he's unfaithful. So they want to try to sleep with him and then get video evidence of it so they can tell you so you can be just turned off from him and repel him and not want him no more. And then he be dispirited from love and think he can't go anywhere and get any love from anybody else. But it's not going to happen. I'm hearing like abundance. So much abundance. Bay leaves, abundance, candles, okay? Somebody could be burning some bay candle. Maybe he bought you a candle with the bay, bay laurel or something. That's what I'm hearing. I don't even know what that is. I got to look it up. But that's what I'm hearing. Diversity. Okay, this man said he's trying to switch it up. He said he sees a, a, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of life in you. And he want to switch it up. He ain't never been romantic before, okay? He said he ain't never made love like this before. Or you ain't never made love like this before. So he about to wine and dine you, give you things, bring you a bag I'm getting. Yeah, this person is very passionate for you. This person uh, sticks up for you. This person possibly even cried about something that could have happened to you in your past. It really pissed them off. Maybe a, about how someone could have done or people have done things to you in your past. And uh, this person really felt, yeah, they did They did horrible things to you in your past. And this person feels very bad about that. Maybe uh, you had, you know, some abuse and certain things that were going on in your life. People could have been trying to poison you and take you out. And this person sees that you're recovering. Uh, maybe at first when they met you, they saw you were a little sick. Maybe that's when they met you or you looked a little down or whatever. And they didn't know it at the time until they look at you now. And they listen to what you told them. Maybe you could have been telling them since you first met them that, like, people be attacking me with witchcraft and this, that, and the third. And he kind of was on the fence about it like mm, you know all right but he's experiencing that mischief himself okay and he's also seeing that things are returning on other people's heads and he's like you was the one she was talking about that did this to her you were the one that was doing this to her and now he's seeing everybody for who they are he don't want to be bothered with them okay and he's sticking up for you but he was really very upset about what it was that happened to you and he feels like you deal with so much you're holding it all together he feels like he wants to be there if you break down or when you break down because he know you're gonna have to heal yeah there's a lot of gossip maybe you cleared out a lot of gossip or he's gonna clear up or you know you and him being together has cleared up a lot of gossip and now he's having the courage or he been around there clearing up gossip and cussing people out and threatening to smack people in their fucking mouth if they say something about you yeah he got the courage now people know oh we gotta go we gotta we gotta proceed with caution he is not playing about her like this masculine in the spiritual realm is putting a ward of protection around you he is protecting you okay just like you 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 activated him and now he's doing what he needs to do for you and that's protect you and that's bringing you and him a lot of luck all right and it's gonna bring y'all a lot of good sex and sleep you know who's mad at that let's see what's going on i'm here because they tried it oh shit yeah they did try somebody actually tried to get somebody taken out they could have tried to get you murdered pay somebody to get you cut out pay somebody to take this man's money or pay somebody to rob him yeah his situation his intuition you know helped him out in a situation where people were trying to betray him and get him robbed literally okay one feminine could have been trying to set him up to get him robbed uh by her friends or by some dudes could have been trying to set him up with one feminine also um somebody who felt betrayed by him because he outcasted them 
wanted to come back and attack him, possibly attack you. So it could have been somebody, you know, hanging out, stalking y'all, trying to see whenever y'all got together so she can roll up and try to fight you. Yeah, she was going to take a chance and take an ass whooping. Just to, why does this woman think? I don't know. She was going she was going to try to get you to beat her up. Possibly put you in jail. All this was for money. Somebody was paying this paying money to keep this man away from you. Who is this was paying people to do things to keep this man away from you? A collective of people who was working for a king of swords. Who is this king of swords? Someone who had hidden insight on the situation and thought he was smarter than both of y'all to keep y'all apart and he heartbroken because that shit ain't working and he out of money and he can't pay nobody to keep nobody from you. This is someone who was infatuated with you, infatuated with the power and charisma that you had and they wanted a piece of you and they didn't want this man to get a piece of you because they felt like you're so loving and generous. Keep giving me your energy. I'm feeding off of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and this mess is going to give you money, which is going to you know, bring some good news to you and you're going to be able to move on. And this, these people feel like they can't stop it. This man feel like he can't stop it and he heavily burdened by it. What does this man want? This somebody in your past, somebody who cheated on you, cheated on you and decided that, okay, so boom, this somebody who cheated on you or cheated with you. This person could have possibly put you in a third party. This masculine, the one that wanted to pay other people to try to get in between you and your divine masculine. Yeah, he was paying a lot of people uh, to stick around him and to gossip. That's where that gossip came from. You cleared up a lot of gossip that was going on around there about you when he got to know you himself. That's why he uh, feels good about exploring new territories and coming to find out what you had going on. But see, this man found out he was doing so. All right. What I'm hearing is that you ended it with this man. He's heavily burdened because he was insecure about a situation that you ended. Maybe you were sleeping with him at one point and you decided to uh-uh explore new territories i don't need this type of bullshit because like i said he possibly had you in a third party right so why you decided to go elsewhere he peeked you out and, and, and decided to plot on you online anyway whoever this is he saw you online first and decided to plot out on you put into action but i heard the police what about the police bring up the momentum he tried to pay somebody to come fight you so yeah he paid that girl to try to come fight you some some ex of his okay so this is an ex of your divine masculine that this ex of yours found out about and he tried to pay her to come back toward this man and do anything in order to get pregnant by him and now he upset because the truth is coming out about how he paid people to get in the way of you and this masculine that's why i said cussing people out this man find out that you around here starting up mess and you actually paying people to keep up the mess whoa and then I heard, just for that, I'm a F for good tonight, okay? So this man's gonna figure it out these people was hating on you, and every time he... So if he called you and was like, hey, what's up, what you doing? And he was all on you, and this and the third is because he was like, they mad, and I like that they mad, and I'm finna treat you because they mad, and he... Get it to you, how you supposed to get it to you, girl? That's what I heard. Goodness. So if he be tearing your ass up, it's because he be frustrated with other people. But then he be so excited that he got you and they don't. And he gonna make sure you straight so you don't go nowhere. And make sure that if, if they even came back over there to say nothing to you, you so preoccupied, his smell is all on you, that it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Why you stop celebrating with this masculine? Because he was giving cups of love everywhere. He ghosted you for somebody else, tried to make you seem like you were some sort of secret hoe just to look good to other people. So he was third party and you basically not keeping it real with you uh, in this situation. You found out he had somebody, but he told you in a weird way. He told you in a weird way. It was like, it was like he called you. Yeah, trying to make it seem like, oh, you pushing yourself on him like he's the good one. So it's like... Uh, people was believing the story that he was making up like he called you and just told you I got a girlfriend But he said it in front of the girlfriend and maybe some other people and he wanted you to react in a certain way He was surprised when you didn't though. He tried to set you up He was surprised when you didn't so then he took it upon himself to try to embarrass you because you embarrassed him He was trying to set you up to cause some sort of mental confusion and you and pull on your energy Because he found out after he dug up in that cootie mommy that you didn't want to deal with him no more And he found out because you wasn't attracted to him period why were you not attracted to this? Well, first of all, he seems like a goofy, but why were you not attracted? Yeah, and he had a wife. Get out. And the wife could have possibly been pregnant. You was unattracted. Like, you didn't find this man attractive. You felt like it was some sort of illusion. He could have possibly been doing some sort of magic to make you fall for him. Some sort of, like I said, he peeped you out online, and he knew that he was going to try to trick you, right? Okay, boom. And then he was doing some magic to get you to pay him some attention. And then when you finally gave him attention and he got the draws, you didn't give them to him no more because he was trash. 
I can't do that, but tell the truth, he was trash, okay? But this other masculine got it all. And he's disappointed because he know this other masculine got it all, meaning the deed, the money, the love, the whatever, all right? And whatever this is right here, this could be him being combative. This could be him sticking up for you, okay? Uh, I'm hearing B, big D energy, okay? It's making this other man feel uh, uh less of himself because he know he ain't got a good enough offer to come bring it to you. And plus, he ain't got enough money to get nobody to try you again. But these ace of wands, that's him protecting you, standing guard, you know, uh, against you because he knows that you're the truth teller. You don't want to tell him the truth and this masking and everybody else lying on you. At first, he was like, it can't just be, you know, everybody else against her. But when he got to know you, he was like, literally, she is good people. She has not shown me anything else but being good people. Y'all have shown me liars. He has seen these people get their karma he has watched these people receive their karma and it could have been something you told him that was gonna happen or it could just match whatever you told him that happened in the beginning that horrible shit that happened to you that you told him that kind of had him conflicted in the mind at first thinking maybe she is crazy like they said he's seeing them catch karma for that shit these people could be going to jail these people could be watched these people could be being uh uh i'm hearing uh somebody serviced somebody probably got some paper served to him they want to fight i'm telling you <laughs> Like, he didn't witness this stuff go down. And these people are upset, honey. Let's see. They tried to make you the monster, or this masculine tried to make you the monster that he tell everybody you is. And you're not. Let's put that out there. And you're not. He's a monster. Not you. <laughs> He's a monster. I'm here. Who's the what? Who's the son? Oh, who's the master? Show sure now. I'm the master. All right. This person said they slept with an ex just to get a reaction out of you. They didn't think you were smart enough. They wanted everything you have. Okay. So whoever this man was paying to try to get in this person's business, purposely slept uh with this man just to get a reaction out of you, and then both of them paired up together to work together to try to get this man away get this divine masculine away from you okay so this ex this person that you slept with that one time you was like it's trash you ain't want to speak with him no more this person slept with a friend or somebody who was pretending to be a friend of yours that you didn't like and both of them worked together to try to stop this other masculine from coming towards you all right somebody went through someone's phone and saw what they were hiding jealousy on love life who went through somebody's phone let me find out this girl got around this man and went through his phone how would she do that y'all i don't like that who went through who phone? Jealous of your love life. Oh, she went through his phone. She went through his phone. She went through his phone. <laughs> Let me get this card off the floor. Yeah, she went through his phone and saw all kind of stuff. Or maybe saw uh, that people wanted to date you. Saw this man trying to stalk you. What? Okay, for some of y'all, she went through your ex phone and saw that he still had pictures and stuff of you. Uh, maybe he's still looking at your page or some sort of social media that you have. Uh, she's jealous because people always love you and want to stay with you. Um, she obviously been trying to op you, okay? He possibly had a baby on you with this woman. Possibly caught an STD with this woman. My God. Okay, this woman even hated on you. She tried to hate on your child as well. She feels, or he feels like how you just gonna better yourself. And he wanna have sex again. <laughs> so he mad because you wouldn't settle for that mediocre Peter man he was trying to pass you, okay? He wanna play like, oh, I think you a blessing. But he was around here slinging that old mediocre ding-dang around here to everybody. All right, somebody's scared. It's too late for sorry and they scared because they did too much to try to hold someone back from you. And now this person is protecting you from them. And like this masculine never thought that there would be a man to stand in between him and you to protect you from him. And it's somebody he already feel inferior to. Like, come on. This man feel like <laughs> he feel like he ain't got nothing left. I'm itching to grab this deck and I don't want to because this is so messy. Uh, let's go. Is this the deck? This... Y'all, I, I, I'm finna just get in here. I didn't want to grab this deck because this deck be, this deck really be, really be decking. Okay, let me see. Oh, it's all mixed up, Jesus Christ. All right, no way out, dead end. Let's see. Trying to cyber bully you. <laughs> all right, so these people may have been trying to cyber bully you. Could have been part of a sorority. Some of them, you know, tied in. LinkedIn is what I'm hearing. Is that a, is that a, I'm hearing an app, a LinkedIn app. They could be on that app. I don't know. I don't know. Someone has a hoarding problem. This hoarding is going to lead to dementia. Someone could be a part of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority. 
I'm also hearing that this masculine could have had a mama that was in on the deal. The mama that knew the wife and they was both mad at you. Some shit I'm hearing about a wife and a mama. But the mama could have been possibly, possibly a part of the Delta Sigma Theta as long, along with his wife. And they decided to work together against you. Maybe this mother has a hoarding problem and she is going to uh, develop dementia for getting in this mess. Your name could be ringing bells in jail because uh, somebody could have, yeah, tried to annihilate you. They could have been trying to get you hit, knock you off. He could have been trying to pimp you out and it didn't work. Family full of demons. Yeah, man, they were trying to use you for your energy. If he would have kept sleeping with you. Yeah, that was the only extermination, bro. That was the only way that his mama and his baby mama or his wife or whatever figured out that they was going to get rid of you is because they were going to exterminate you some sort of way, annihilate you some sort of way uh, by using this group and using this masculine to continue to take your energy um, to stop you from having new love coming in and then possibly poison you. Sheesh. They wanted you to have a child by this man so that this child could have your spiritual gifts, powers, or, or be linked in with whatever spiritual uh, community you're linked in with. Jeez. I'm telling you, they just wanted to have babies with you. Sent real killers to get you, but it didn't work. Trilateral commission could have been on this, okay? I did see that we got the, uh, the Zeta Phi Beta. I did see something about, um, dang, I just forgot. Somebody could have been a teacher. This woman, this stalker, she could be a teacher. Like I said, she could be this masculine's mom. These people were trying to poison you, use you, benefit off of you, and was upset when you didn't let the shit happen. I mean, it's just funny that the wife and the mama had the nerve to get into the little group and kind of says catch an attitude together to work against you. And both of them Cyrus here. Whole damn group Cyrus here. Y'all know I've seen online too, a lot of people getting out of them sororities. Mm-hmm. They said they can actually see the witchcraft on these people. The devil's tormenting these damn folks. And the only reason they got into the groups, because back in the day, they looked like they had money and everything. See what happened? Got to sell your ass to the devil just to get some change. Child boo. Somebody wants you thinking too much, or maybe someone's thinking too much, okay? I think somebody's scared they're going to go to fucking jail. I think someone had a lot to do, because, I mean, if they was trying to sell you and the try let them commission, there's a lot of people who's scared who was supposed to come positive knock you off. They got caught. And someone, whoever did this, was thinking too much. This ex of yours, I told y'all, ex is the alien. Ex is basically, uh, y'all know how I talk about you, this crazy baby daddy energies that are handlers. These handlers come from a different planet, and they come down here and dress up in, you know, human skin and have sex with y'all. Kind of like Zeus used to come down and pretend to be whatever. That's how fallen angels had sex with the human women. That's why their breeding came up, is because these people would come down dressed in your ex or, you know, okay basically taking possession of your ex so this is then the third and these people in these sororities and these fraternities they can pass on spirits through intercourse okay so they was trying to get a piece of you get you pregnant kill you and keep the baby only reason they wanted to keep themselves bonded to you now this person thinking too much having headaches and anxiety they don't know what to do using moon magic trying to figure out where you at they want a second chance just like you got a second chance they could have possibly had a child with somebody else and that child possessed they want to come over there with you they think life is better with you because whoever this mom and this wife is has fucked them up even worse okay trying to feed you some sort of mold or maybe cause mold in your home because they're upset that they don't they can't sexually manipulate you anymore bipolar disorder okay somebody could be bipolar in this deal i'm gonna tell you what my holy spirit said they say his mammy so she could be a haitian practitioner who's bipolar his mama okay she tried to get you cuz she tried to get you she could have hired this haitian practitioner she's still the one that's bipolar we ain't skipping over that all right let's see anything else holy spirit anything else from these imbeciles queen of wands feels defeated because she thought she had unlimited potentials with this masculine him his mom and her celebrated they thought they was gonna play on your top and get your ass locked in jail and get control of your child and you sending out messages that you still surviving you still living and they the ones that's gonna have these cycles closed from them because of the shit that they did to you or tried to do to you in the past take money from you come up with some sort of skill propaganda use shit against you try to use their political involvement in the navy connections to try to stop you upset now because you've repositioned yourself from where you were in the past and you open a new chapter for yourself and they ask last okay ask last and i'm here to having to pay some pay some money as well where my other deck at let's see about this money let's see about this money somebody's very upset about having to pay this money and what's so funny is his wife gotta pay ain't that something got married to this man thought they was gonna pull these schemes on you they're receiving money 
from you and now she got to help pay. Both of them going to jail and they got to pay a severance. Thief, I'm telling you, both of them was thieving. Both of them thought they was going to take your child. Okay, they could have possibly been using a child. I don't know. They could have possibly been using a the child they already had and thought he was going to come over there and take the one that he had with you. Okay, I'm hearing yours was the outside baby, apparently. He could have already been married to this lady. I don't know, child. They in poverty now. He wanted to keep you in poverty, but you're being held in high honor. All right? This this, this job, this scam and shit that he was doing, is gonna, it, it came out in court, and he's in despair now. His whole family is going to be in poverty now. The mammy, the grandmammy, the, all, all of them, they going to be in poverty now while you're held in high honor. Uh, and you about to get married to someone else, possibly get into another courtship, okay? You're not uh, binded by these people. These people didn't want you to get in this relationship, all right? In a distant horizon, somebody going to croak. Possibly could be his mama. You could be getting some unexpected income from that too, okay? I'm hearing she could have possibly left your child on the wheel. People do stuff like this to be funny, but I've also been hearing that it's on some sort of bind. It's like it's a competition for them when they start attacking you and they put you on these insurance scams and they try to get money from you. So basically what I'm hearing is with a lot of these insurance scams that these people uh, signed, uh, the deal kind of went, it's kind of like a sole contract, okay? It's like the deal went where they, if they wanted to, let's say this older woman wanted to use your child and receive money from the state for them, trying to say that they were taking care of this child okay this person has been receiving that money and this person put life insurance on your child without you knowing is what i'm getting but in order for them to put your child on life insurance it had to be vice versa i have i have not done research on this but this is what i've heard multiple times in order for this grandmother to illegally put your child on her paperwork she had to put your child on her paperwork as well so whoever died first is getting this money her ass is dying first and your baby finna get some money and you finna get a letter in the mail that's gonna let you know you getting that money, honey. Because your baby deserved that motherfucking money and this grandmammy is evil. This grandmammy is evil. She could have possibly got this money that she was... Okay, this money that your baby's gonna receive is coming from some marriage that she had to a man that she killed off and got money. So I'm guessing this is some sort of inheritance that she thought she was going to give to the child but take. I don't know. Some sort of way she could keep the money going. Maybe a mature male. Maybe this woman's husband knew that you know, her son, his son went out here and had this secret baby, okay, a special child, and he didn't want to admit to it because him and his mammy was in some bullshit, and they killed him off, and he left some money to your child. He could have went behind their back and left money to your child. Listen, honey, it's going to come out, but they, all I know is this old bitch, I mean, this old witch here worked real hard to try to do stuff against your child in order to keep her family together because she had a certain expectation of who his her child's baby, uh, baby mamas needed to be. And she was telling him that since they had all that money and shit and they was, you know, real famous or, you know, connected in some sort of secret organization that you was coming in as a false person and you was just trying to get some money out of him. And, uh... Then I guess they got some sort of child support paper in the mail, and this woman didn't like that because I mean he might have stayed with his mother now. Anyway, she found out he was all she was all in his business and all his affairs is what I heard. Possibly his affairs with other women too, and she didn't like the fact that you had power and you possibly had some cootie mama that was going to end up taking her son out of this damn railroad ass scam or baby mama's bullshit that he got going on because she taught him how to do it. She's she's the hateful one. She taught him how to do it. So anyways, it's some sort of adjudication going on. Maybe him and her fighting in court, but also uh. This woman purposely got some papers that you possibly needed some child support and she decided to go up there and that's when they started lying and saying all this and that about you expecting to get some sort of house expecting to get some child maybe this the dude that was her husband was a wealthy man and he had a house and to spite her and uh his hateful ass son because i guess he figured out they was gonna kill him oh child this is messy yeah look at this shit he was on his deathbed and he realized that he found out that there was a way for him to save his money and make sure they didn't get it and send their ass to jail so you and your child can get some 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 shit some help or something he knew what schemes they was pulling because they pulled it on his ass and killed him and now some great fortune coming and these people mad as hell because they're not getting none i'm telling you whatever this man supposed to give you it's gonna be an official person to come drop this off to you because these people been trying to do shit to you behind your back this man trying to make his way back to you and love on you before you get this money so he can spend it with you because he trying to leave his wife and his man his grandmammy in in in, 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 in the past there and somebody got a uh, subpoena somebody got subpoena and somebody also received an amendment. Somebody got subpoenaed about this shit. Yeah, the law told them y'all got to come up off this money or we y'all going to jail. And we finna go take, man, this is the only thing on this man's mind. He thinking too much that you about to get this money and also that he can't come over here and love on you because you about to get in the divine union to be a privileged lady. Your man got money. So not only is you about to have some money, your child about to get a bag dropped on them. You about to marry him some money. Like this man don't know what to do. That's why he thinking too damn much. Sudden wealth, honey, you got it. You got it. 
have a wonderful wedding is what I'm hearing. You don't think you're going to be able to have a wedding, but the Holy Spirit is going to, you going to have a wedding, girl. Go ahead. Put that little waist train on and eat your little fruits and stuff. Get that body right. All right, y'all. This is it. This is all my loves. I hope you enjoyed, uh, you know, what happened on the table today. This is this is, this is is a fairy tale right here because they was trying to drag you, child. But either way, not even a fairy tale. It turned into a soap opera because then you find out that your baby daddy mamas had killed his daddy and his daddy put the, put the trick on them and saved your child some money because they know they was trying to pull the bullshit, child. I don't know. But what I do know is while this man was on his deathbed, he damn sure left you and your child or left your child some stuff. So that his child and his uh wife couldn't get the money. This is something other here. All right, y'all. This is this is all. I hope you got what you needed. Meet me in the next one.